Hi. I've just sketched out a, a very rough design, a horizon for the sea. It's the only mechanical line I ever put on a painting is if I want a, a horizontal sea. Uh, it's more or less, it's probably about eighth of an inch up higher than there, but nobody notices. And the only bit that's going to show is this. It's a sunset looking out from a car park at Sarasota in, on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Um, where we spent a holiday, well not in Sarasota, we were north in Tampa or in Tampa Bay. And we saw several wonderful sunsets go down because that is due west. Um, we stood outside the Hurricane, or a well, bar on the beach, or was it the Hurricane Inn restaurant in uh, St. Petersburg, at St. Pete's Beach, and watched the sun go right down. It was just fantastic. It was a bit of a cool day that day, unusually, but this, it was so beautiful. And we got a couple of photographs that we took from the sun going down probably 30 miles south uh, at Sarasota, but this this actually was um, at St Pete's Beach, but it's the same sun, it's only just a bit further down the coast. But on, what, what really attracted me was this kakina type, well they call it kakina, I presume it means shell, white sand made from or from eroded shells over many, many years. Um, and it's, it's lovely, it's very fine, it's almost as fine as ground pepper. But uh, I, on the watercolour I did of it, I failed to put in some, a slight tint of the, from the sky. Uh, so I'm going to do it, have a go in acrylic. It's totally, completely from memory. Well, just, well, I've, I've changed my palette somewhat. I've added cobalt blue and some vermilion. The white is a bit, it's been in this new, on this new membrane overnight. And it's a bit liquid. Some lemon yellow, uh, light red if I need it, ultramarine, burnt, burnt sienna, burnt umber for the beach, and uh, black. So there we are. Let's uh, start by putting in a sky. I'll use this old brush I use for priming now. Or well, ruined brush, should I say, but it's, it's fine. It does things that other brushes don't. So let's, let's mix up a blue from the cobalt. I'll use a bit of medium, which is PVA glue, diluted. Uh, this uh, cobalt blue is very old now. So I'll mix it with a little bit of, bit of the uh, vermilion to get the, the sort of nightish cloud coming in. Get some uh, Help it flow. You see, it's on a primed. Fine watercolour paper. You can use any support for acrylic. It's provided it's primed, it sticks to anything. It's a marvellous. Uh, I work from the sunset basically just to give an idea some night clouds. So we'll add a bit of light red and ultramarine to that. So a bit of a... a bit of dark at the top there, a bit more blue. I'll change all this, this is just a, a first coat. You can hear how rough this paper is with the primer. Keep the brushes nice and clean. Right, let's let's mix a, a sort of a, a an orange. That's why I'm using the vermilion, mostly to mix with some lemon yellow to make that sort of orange. Oh, I've got to put some yellow ochre. Can't be go far without yellow ochre. Uh, put a bit of pot of that all the way from Michael's at St Petersburg. Ah. I think I have to take the little silver top off. Right, okay, let's uh, put that together. Bit of I'll, I'll, I'll put out some more lemon yellow. 
I'm going to need some, some more of that when I, for the sky and for the trees. Because what we had were just uh, some trees on the, in the sand here, with a beach beyond, and this uh, car park area, it was all sand. Right, so let's just put in this. Don't have to worry so much about the blending because it dries so quick. Now the sky which a little bit. I want to just put a bit of colour on this beach. More white I think. Just to show the sky is reflecting on the white sand. Whitish sand. Bit of umber in there. Bit of shadow. Okay, back to the sky. It's really nice and red. I'm assuming the sun would be around that here. Right now we're going with some some lighter colour. That will need to dry so that the, the very lightest colour will be over here. And I've not rehearsed any of this, this is just straight in. Oh, it's an incredible sunset. So I'm using the sunset from Sarasota to do a sunset, or I'm using the, the photograph from St. Pete's Beach, St. Petersburg. Right, let's, uh, okay. Just let that dry off a little bit. I might have to use, it's very damp today again. So this is going to take a little bit longer to dry, but I'll use the hair dryer. Take your headphones off. Okay, let's develop a little bit of light around the middle there. Now, to make things look lighter, you have to surround them with dark. So, so the red is going to be down here, behind the tree there. So I don't need to go too far over there. Can't be pure white because pure white well. And then we've got all this light cloud and the light shining between the clouds or the night clouds. Okay. And then we've got uh, some darker. down there. Okay. Right here. So let's go into some, some dark mix of two blues together and that uh, red, that oh, vermilion.
Okay, well, we're getting some colour in there now. I think that's some really is a good mix in there with these darker mauves. The trees are going to go there. So I just want to surround, just get a bit of dark around that, that light area. Okay. Now it's all dark over here. See now the lights are looking lighter. Now as the darks are looking darker. Different way of painting this isn't it? Blending rather than just slapping it on. We'll do that later. Anyway let's, uh, let's put, put the red back here. I'll change my brush. I want that nice orangey red. So it shows through the, the tree. And a bit of white in there. As we come pinker. Put some in here. Go back to that light area there. So if we put just a touch of lemon yellow in there. And that comes down quite a bit there. pinks in there. Right, that needs a bit of a, a bit of drying I think. So let's let's put in some some silhouetted trees here. So greens, black, yellow, I can use some orange in there as well. So let's just put this some oranges around the silhouette once it starts to dry a bit. We're just scrubby trees really on this wonderful coast. So now I can go think. Grass. 
for spiky bits. That's my C there. I'll go back to that. Now this is just the the sand, the grass in the sand, just just coming across. A lot of sea oats grow in this area. Um, this hold, holds the uh, beaches together and it's protected, you can't pick it. Okay, let's put in a bit, bit more of a nice colour in there. Right, now we've got a lot of tree here. I think some are oak trees, pines are, I'm not familiar with, obviously with this landscape, it's so, so different to, to England or Britain, these are fabulous trees, but I'm just going to just put these in. bigger than the other sides to contrast. They were actually. Come on, that's a uh, bit red, a bit of yellow, a bit of black. Don't worry about using black, it's a, a queen of colours. Mix it with other colours. So this is the uh, Thicken up these uh, trunks. Let's come down a bit to there. It's all fairly flat here. Can I colour to that to show the light shining? On the edges of the trunks, just to catch in the light. So I was just bring some of this. Right, we'll get that dark behind there. Using the size of the brush just to drag up and hit the high spots of the primer. 
I'll do some of this with a rigger. Right, okay, let's give that a clean. And it's looking quite good. So I'll just bring that across there. I've got to add some, some lights, some red back in there. Let's get in some, over that we'll get in some um, burnt umber, a load of white, a bit of that yellowy stuff. Let's just put some detail back in, in this. Just colours of the sky really, just on the light of the... Showing some of the, the local colour, which is the, this. But I really want nice and warm, but I don't want it dark. Get some yellow and orange back in. Oh no, it's fuzzy. Let's clean my palette a little bit. I've completely messed up the, uh, the yellow area with the black. Anyway, I've got another 30 sheets of this membrane coming. Okay, so the C, we'll put, we'll put a, like a, a Movi C. And dark in there because I want to take the uh, the sky over it. And remember, bring your sky into your sea, your sea into your sky. So I've got to when that dries, I'm going to rework that edge, soften it all. So it's going up hill or not that. Right? That's all right. Go back to the sea now. I'm really guessing this now. Says make your foregrounds or do your foregrounds quick, quickly. Quite rough. So put a bit of shadow. Or to show footprints and all sorts of cast shadows. Okay, I can, I can put more grass into that now. Now, I'll clean my brush. I want to put some light back into that 
into this here but I, I want to just get some lovely uh, rich colour in there now so, Get the thick paint in here now. The impasto, and that comes down there. Turn putting these touches of white in. Now the light is is uh, coming. From there, in my brush. And it comes right down. Oh, let's put some, oops. No, too dark, too dark I mean. Don't mean to get in the way here. Look at these darks back here. I need some brighter oranges in there. I used to have an orange. I soften this. Oops. Not that much. All right, let's get that. Uh, This light coming down to the horizon. I 
and then they're dry. And I'll get some white back on top of that. And that dark horizon is all the way across. Needs to be uh, a bit drier than that. Okay, let's put in some uh, some oranges back in here. Just catching the light. Just dragging the sharp edge of that pretty thin brush. Get some detailing these scrubby trees, well, shrubs. Just try to get an impression that there's the light in, in coming through the uh, the holes, the air, the air holes, bird holes. Dark greens in here. Okay. Got to do some stuff with the uh, with the rigger yet. Put some detail into the uh, branches. That, I'm quite, quite happy with that. Bit of shadow in here, maybe. But... Alright, let's... Uh... But I need to put in a dark line across the top very carefully, probably with my inch flat. Let's, uh, if I use water, I'll just mix a bit of medium with it. Right. 
Yeah, then. I'll use a, the, the, this one, the small one now. I'll get those noses, sorry if I'm masking, but... And with the orange coming into the side of that. I can't do too much of this one. And the darks. I'm just using the red and the, the cobalt for these. Now the light orange just coming in there. Just catching the tips of the waves or the ripples coming in. Now the white back again. I want that more there. Okay. Let's get this dark, dark blue, uh, red and blue. Um, no, I don't want to. Uh, Doing that, that's a bit too obvious. Soften a bit. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll just leave that bit to, to dry for a little bit. I'm going to just use some rigor work now. Just to I've diluted the paint with some PVA glue. I'm just using jet black really. I don't really want to overdo this but Let's do a bit of a bit of this. Just catch some of the uh, high spots of the uh, I don't want to do too much of this because a little, oops, a little goes a long way. That's about it, really. Uh, well, 
that's the, the brush clean. I just I'm going to just try to put some darker bits of night cloud. Well, they show more because of the the, the against the, the brilliance of the sun. But so let's just get this nice and blue and red dark. Just get this, uh, these clouds here. These. Oh. Right, there's not a lot more I can do with that really, uh, except to put it in a mount, and we'll have a look to see what we've what we've done. I can't spend the time to, to smooth everything out and do a photographic copy. I don't do those anyway, as you know. So I find impression ways to, 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 to show these things. Uh, I don't want you to see it yet, so I want to look at it first. of a call that it's a Sarasota sunset. Let's go into it a little bit. There's probably not enough blending in it but I uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let that go. Uh, let's see the shrubby tree there, scrubby trees and um, these nearer pines, oaks uh, let's see, and just the beach. All right, let's check them out. What about a couple of pelicans, eh? Pelicans always go down well, don't they? Lovely, lovely things. With my little brush. All right, that will be dark. So a bit dark, a bit, bit, bit of black in there, a bit blue. So let's get it fairly low down. Oh. Okay, that's it. I hope you quite like that. I'll publish that. Uh, see how it goes. See what you think. It's a the impression of. So of a Sarasota sunset. Thanks for watching. Let's zoom out a little bit. There you go. Bye for now.